I want to take a minute to thank the Gwinnett Daily Post for their continued support in bringing these virtual events to the community in a fun and interactive way. It's been my pleasure to be with all of you this evening and share these culinary experiences. The Gwinnett Daily Post had been a part of this community since 1995 and provides events like tonight's Good Taste virtual event, as well as their upcoming Gwinnett Health Fair, which will be a free live event on November 6th at Bogan Park in Buford. This event is sponsored by Publix, Clover Health, and Northeast Georgia Health System. Learn about this and other events at GwinnettHealthFairs.com. I also wanted to mention a live exciting event coming in just a few days as Gold Over America performs at Gas South Arena, formerly Infinite Energy Center, right here in Gwinnett. The Gold Over America Tour, starring Simone Biles, is a celebration of powerful female athletes who together are a united force proudly representing the sport of women's gymnastics and inspiring the next generation of athletes. Biles and an all-star team of gymnasts will celebrate world-class gymnastics in the afterglow of the world's preeminent international competition in a way you've never seen before, their way. The Gold Over America Tour will be a high-octane, fun-filled experience that will not only showcase athletic brilliance, but also showcase each athlete's own inspiring championship journey and bring the audience closer to the action than ever before. Again, it's October 26th. Visit GasSouthDistrict.com to get your tickets today. And now, let's start cooking again. Are you ready to head to our next demonstration at Marlowe's Tavern in Duluth? Let's check them out. Today, we are at Marlowe's Tavern in Duluth, one of my favorite places and right around the corner from my house, not giving you the address. Here we are with Chef Ben, and he is going to help us cook up something really spectacular. So, Ben, what do we have today? Uh, we're, we've got all the uh, things laid out to make a crispy uh, grouper sandwich with a Nashville hot spice. All right, now a lot of people say Nashville hot, but is yeah. it going to be hot? Yeah, it's, it's going to be hot uh, for sure. We've got a, a fair amount of cayenne pepper that's going to go in there. And then what's really going to bring it all together is this tartar sauce that we're going to make. There's a lot of ingredients here, but, but yeah, they don't can worry. make this at home. Don't worry. Yeah, we, we actually uh, did a, a recipe, much smaller quantity than this for the, for the home cook. I, I don't know that how, you're going to need. How, how much tartar sauce am yeah, I expected well, I, to eat you know, later? We, we've got a lot of people to feed here, you know. <laughs> so this is this is a working restaurant, you know. So uh, this is this is our batch size. It's a fair amount of maintenance. All right, yeah, Ben. Well, yeah. let's start putting it together. Yeah. Well, we're, we'll start with the with the Nashville um, Nashville spice here. So uh, we have them all laid out: uh, chili powder, paprika, cayenne, garlic powder, onion powder, brown sugar, salt, and black pepper. So all right. Um, that's the onion powder, garlic powder. I yeah, want all don't, of that. don't don't skimp. And then That's this right. is a cayenne pepper, so we we like it hot. So okay. we're we're gonna put it on in there. We're gonna get all this, this in there. Goes. Paprika. Yeah. And then and then chili powder. So chili powder is a blend of, of different spices. So really want to make sure we get a nice high quality chili uh, chili powder. Don't don't skimp on the chili powder, okay? And then just mix that together. Yeah. A lot of Nashville. Uh, spices are uh, mixed with butter or oil or lard any of those things to really coat the uh, coat the chicken this one we're not gonna put any fat in it any oil butter or lard because we don't want to um, uh, sog out the the crust on the on the fish right because you want that that fish to stay crispy right. so this is just going to be used as an as a seasoning after it's cooked right so we're going to uh, fry it nice and crisp and then we're going to put this seasoning on uh, after we're done. And I can tell you, I can smell it from here and it yeah. smells pretty yeah. hot. Yeah. No, no sneezing allowed. No, I'm okay. not going to okay. sneeze. Right. I promise. All right. And so next up, we're going to we're going to do our, our tartar sauce. Uh, mayonnaise, a high quality mayonnaise. There's plenty of cheap mayonnaise out there. Buy a good one. Okay. Your choice. Do, some people do you have Dukes. a favorite? Some people are Dukes I'm fans. I'm a Dukes person. You're a Dukes guy? I'm not a Dukes guy. I'm Hellman's uh, guy. So we'll start with our, our vat of mayonnaise here. Um, again, we, our recipe for, for home use is going to be much smaller. Uh, kosher salt. Worcestershire sauce. It's only one type of Worcestershire sauce. Right. Or however you say it. It's made by Lee and, and Perrins. Yeah. Lee and Perrins. Don't, uh, don't cheap on and the... What was that? 
Oh, sorry, that was uh, red wine vinegar. Okay, red wine Thank, vinegar. Thanks for keeping me in sure, line. Sure, I'm here. I'm uh, here. I'm going to chop parsley. Good. This is a, a Italian leaf parsley, but you can use curly leaf parsley as well. But just make sure we and that's we get fresh. That that's not dried parsley. No, no fresh. Uh, lemon juice, fresh squeezed lemon juice, and chopped capers. Oh, All right. That's Fantastic. I love capers. That's going to add a it. real nice saltiness yeah. and brininess yeah. to it. Yeah, I love love capers. And then uh, chopped dill pickles, not sweet. Pickles, dill pickles. All right. All right, and then we're just going to give this a mix. We're going to try to keep it in this bowl. And then also this needs a really nice uh, couple cracks of fresh black pepper. Yeah, couple. Yeah, couple. Keep you know, going. a few. There we go. There you go. All right, and so this is going to make this uh, tartar sauce here. We have a beautifully toasted bun. We have a delicious uh, half sour pickle that we're going to serve this with. Love half sour and, pickles. Uh, magic of uh, TV. We also have a fresh fried uh, grouper uh, filet. And so now we're just going to take our Nashville spice and we're going to. A gonna healthy serving of Nashville sprinkle, spice. Sprinkle, sprinkle it all over, over yeah. there. All right. Both sides. Okay, yeah, because you don't want one side to not taste no. like. One side will be lonely without be, the, yeah, be without very the sad spice. For that. All right, and so now we have this this fish really n nice and, and well coated. Now uh, at Marlowe's we serve it with a jicama slaw. So uh, julienne jicama, julienne uh, carrots, and red cabbage, and then we put lime juice and fresh cilantro in there. So this one is going to help kind of cool off that spiciness of the fish. Now, if folks aren't familiar with jicama. Talk to us about that. Yeah, a so bit. it's it's a it's a great vegetable. It, it's it's almost, uh, it's got the crispiness of, of an apple, mm -hmm. um, and it's kind of got the, the coolness of, um, uh, of a cabbage, um, but it's, it, it's really just, really gets some great but texture and coolness. But it's super easy to use, it's super yeah. easy to chop up, and you don't have yeah. to cook it necessarily, no, you no, can no. eat it eat raw. It. Absolutely, yeah, eat it absolutely. raw, yeah, yeah. And, and uh, some, sometimes just with a little uh, lime and salt too, it's great. So we're gonna place this on the, on the base of our, of our bun here, and then we're just gonna uh, break this fish in half so we can, so we can fit it in, uh, fit it on here. And then again, what's gonna help cool this off but really make it something special is this tartar sauce that we made. So healthy uh, dollop of tartar sauce here and uh, we'll just place that on top. This'll, this'll get it, this'll yeah, get it to need, our guest. Uh, you're gonna need to without to falling over, that. yeah. Ben, that looks absolutely fantastic and I can't wait to taste it. Come visit Chef Ben and all the staff here. These guys are absolutely fantastic. When I see you again, we'll be tasting this food. Friends, welcome back to the 2021 edition of Good Taste Gwinnett. I am here at Marlowe's Tavern with Chef Ben, about to try this incredible Nashville hot fried grouper sandwich with this incredible tartar sauce on it. While I dig into this, which is gonna be an undertaking all in itself, you tell us a little bit more about Marlowe's Tavern, the food here, the experience, pretty much anything our friends at home might want to know about Marlowe's Tavern. Yeah, I'm, I'm, this is uh, actually going to be a feat there. That's, uh, I'm going to do it. I've got it. I've got it. Yeah, well, you know, this is, this is, this is your local uh, neighborhood spot and uh, a lot of uh, everyone's favorite. And, you know, different, different items on the menu. This is our crispy grouper sandwich, of course, that's on our menu. but. Uh, plenty of other favorites, uh, burgers, shrimp and grits, plenty of sandwiches and entree salads. How is it? It's amazing. And it is hot. Boy, you don't really get the full effect of it till just a little bit later, right? Yeah. Hits you in the back of the throat. The tartar sauce really helps to bring it together and the crispiness of that jicama slaw. Wow, that really helps make this dish just really sing. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much. This has been an incredible experience. I love this sandwich so much. Make sure you get plenty of napkins. It is a little bit messy, but it is absolutely delicious. Chef Ben, thank you, thank so, you so much, much. for Appreciate letting it. us be here at Marlowe's Tavern. Absolutely. Friends, I'm Anthony Rodriguez. We have been here at Marlowe's Tavern in Duluth. Check one out. They've got plenty of them, but this one happens to be my favorite. We'll see you again for another episode of Good Taste Gwinnett. When we come back, we'll be cooking. Have you subscribed to the Gwinnett Daily Post podcast yet? Get your news anytime and anywhere, whether it's walking, driving, relaxing, or working. Get your daily audible news on your schedule. News about local events, Gwinnett County education, crime, 
high school sports, and so much more from the leading voice in Gwinnett County. Subscribe for free today on your phone, tablet, laptop, or desktop computer, and listen wherever and whenever you wish to. Subscribe to the Gwinnett Daily Post podcast today. All right. Mom, Dad, I'm a pescatarian now. Okay. So pescatarian. Dude, come on. Get the groceries you need when you need them. Curbside pickup at Publix, powered by Instacart. How'd it go? Spaceman said there'd be ice cream. Oh. Forgot your toothbrush. Ice cream. Got it. That was a spaceman, space baby. Woo! Get the groceries you need when you need them. Publix delivered, powered by Instacart. Thank you, Chef Ben, for inviting us over to Marlowe's. What a great experience that was. Check out the list below to see if you've won. We'll be contacting all winners after tonight's event via email. Thanks again for cooking along with us at tonight's edition of Good Taste Gwinnett, powered by Jackson EMC. Special thanks to our presenting sponsors, Jackson EMC, as well as our official grocer, Publix and Publix Aprons Cooking School, and Belk Mall of Georgia, our official retailer. Thanks to our supporting sponsors, including Fernbank Museum of Natural History, Gold Over America, the City of Lawrenceville, Gwinnett County, Chick-fil-A Backstage Tour, the Gwinnett Stripers, Aurora Theater, as well as the wonderful chefs that we've showcased for you tonight. Remember, it's not too late to upgrade your free registration to a VIP package. I think there are a few VIP bags left, so make sure you grab one of them. When you do, you will receive two special gift bags and you will be eligible to win even more prizes, including small kitchen appliances and even a trip to Christmas at Gaylord Opryland and that amazing Breville the Smart Oven Air Fryer Pro. I want one. You may upgrade at goodtastegwinnett.com. You'll also be able to view this event in its entirety or watch parts of particular interest to you starting tomorrow on gwinnettdailypost.com and for the next few months on goodtastegwinnett.com. Join us next week when we will visit more local kitchens and meet more incredible chefs. And we invite you to cook along with us. So check out next week's recipes on goodtastegwinnett.com. Until then, I'm Anthony Rodriguez from the Aurora Theater, and let's keep cooking. Jackson EMC, innovation is an ongoing cycle, a process without a beginning or an end, where one idea leads to the next. Solar power, electric vehicle programs, energy efficient right choice homes, automated switch technology. What we do as an industry is vital. We keep communities powered. So we must always have an eye on the future. Jackson EMC, innovation for today, innovation for tomorrow.